What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making a traditional Irish raisin soda bread. This is one of my favorite breads. If you are a lover of fruity, sugary breads, this one is for you. If you liked today's recipe, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to tag me in all of your recreations. Links to my social media are in the description box below. Now let's get into the recipe. You will need 400 grams of strong bread flour, 15 grams of bread soda, also called bicarbonate of soda, 10 grams of salt, 100 grams of raisins or sultanas, the choice is yours, 60 grams of caster sugar, and 330 milliliters of buttermilk. As is always the case with all of my recipes, I'm going to sieve through my dry ingredients. I've mentioned this before and I will mention it again that it is absolutely essential to sieve through your bicarbonate of soda, also known as I said as bread soda. This is the ingredient that reacts with the acid in your buttermilk to make your soda bread rise. So if you don't sieve it through correctly, you end up with an uneven loaf, number one, and number two, pockets of bicarbonate of soda that just taste absolutely disgusting. Metallic, awful, will make you hate bread. Give it a whisk up to make sure everything is nicely combined and dump in your raisins. At this point, I would also preheat my oven to 180 degrees Celsius in a fan oven. Please be sure to adjust the oven temperature accordingly to suit your oven. So taking the back of a wooden spoon, of a spatula, whatever suits you, I'm going to add in my buttermilk slowly and start mixing. And for anybody who is a stickler for using up every ounce of ingredients, which I hope you all are, I absolutely make sure that I run a spatula around all of my utensils to make sure that there is no liquid or any ingredient left over in a bowl. The trick to a good soda bread is to not over mix the dough. You definitely don't want to handle it too much, so I'm literally bringing it together the least amount possible. If you do over mix it, you'll still have a tasty bread, but it will be quite tough. You can see how all of those lovely raisins are really nicely dispersed and incorporated throughout the mixture. So once the dough is reasonably brought together, I'm actually going to finish it off by hand. So I've just floured my hands with some more of that strong bread flour. There's nothing rushed, there's nothing forced about this process. It really is being gentle and taking your time. Doing this in the bowl also saves a ton of mess and you don't imbalance the flour to liquid ratio in the dough by adding loads of flour onto your work surface. So I really like this method of making a soda bread. Now off camera, I did go ahead and just sieve some flour over a silicone baking mat and I've just finished off shaping the dough by patting it down gently and bringing it into a circular round into that traditional soda bread loaf shape that we are all familiar with. And I would say it's about two inches high maybe about nine inches wide. Try and get it as even as you can with as little working as you can. And please do not skip this vital next step. Take a sharp serrated knife and make a cross in your soda bread loaf. Tradition says that this releases the fairies from your loaf. Pop your dough into the oven at 180 degrees, firstly for 27 minutes. After those 27 minutes are up, turn your loaf over in the oven literally flip it over and bake it for a further 10 minutes. You will know your bread is finished when you top the bottom and it sounds hollow. Once baked, leave it to cool completely on a wire rack. Always the hardest step for me. Just look how incredible this bread looks. It's honestly one of my favorites. It's sweet and savory at the same time. It's delicious with a cup of tea and you guessed it, slathered in good Irish butter. I really hope you love making this recipe as much as I do. I can't wait to see all of your recreations. Don't forget to tag me on social media, links to which are all in the description box. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also hit subscribe for more of my baking videos and I can't wait to see you back on my channel really soon. Bye.